Hello and welcome back to today's video everyone. Now I wanted to dig into a new software, uh, something I love to use myself when I'm you know playing around with things. It's called HTTP Toolkit. And essentially what it is, is it is an interactive HTTP and HTTPS proxy where you can install it either to a browser, it'll automatically do it for you like for Edge and Firefox here. If you have a terminal for like Docker and such, iOS, Android, Electron applications, or any other services you may have running. The even better part about this is it is compatible with all three operating systems, Windows, Android, and Mac OS. And as you can see here, we are currently remote, uh, remoted in via RDP to one of my Windows systems. Um, now the reason for this is because we're going to dive into using Android with HTTP Toolkit. And in order to do so, we're going to need ADB access. And it looks like from my own testing, HTTP Toolkit only supports this at least on Windows. I don't really have a Mac available to go test this on. Um, and for our Linux system, I had to cut out quite a bit of footage because there was a lot of problems. So getting into it now, uh, we are using the standard free edition HTTP Toolkit. Everything you currently see me using is free. Uh, you can go download this at their website and I'll leave it down in the description below. But enough talking, let's get to it. First off, easy to install, straightforward, run the file and you're good to go. And then from here, if you have Firefox, Edge, or one of these browsers installed like Chrome, uh, I think Opera, there's Brave. Um, yeah, there's Opera right there. You can essentially use just about any modern browser uh, these days. And if we click on Firefox here real quick, we can see we're being intercepted currently. And all this information, because Firefox is a little spying little shit, uh, is sending out a lot of information. We can inspect what kind of information is being sent out, uh, the performance on it, and we can export that data if we have the Pro Edition. Uh, looks like yeah, something went wrong with this one. So if we go to this one, for example, where the status was 200 on that HTTP request, we can see the response that was given to us, as well as the response headers and the request headers, which this one is... Uh, Ooh, that one either is, might be from this website, um, the testing site here. But nevertheless, we can inspect and look into a lot of the content that this uh, website is giving us, as well as the requests we're sending out. So if we, for example, example.com, if we go there, we see example domain, we see the favicon, the request for it at least, um, and then the main website here. So all this information was given to us, and then additionally with this, we can also modify how it looks. So if we go modify here, we have some default rules. So like get requests for <coughs> that thing earlier. Uh, the, the example per se, uh, showing you that it was being intercepted by HTTP Toolkit. This was done through the modify uh, feature in HTTP Toolkit. And so we can essentially make the same thing if we clone it here. We'll go down and then we'll do for URL example.com. And then let's see here. No, we're not allowed to do that. What if we do to do to do We'll manually edit the response actually. So we'll go ahead and save that. And if we go back here, we'll go ahead and clear our traffic. Refresh. And there it is. So the response is currently paused at a breakpoint. Let's pull this up. And if we go look at the response right here, we see the title of that domain or that title of that page. And if we look at this, and finally, we resume it. There you go. We can intercept, modify, and do all that, all within a secured environment as well. As you can see, we're actually um, making these requests directly to the HTTPS protocol of example.com. What happens here is not only does HTTP Toolkit intercept your traffic, but it installs a certificate within the browser itself. That way, all that traffic can be, uh, what's essentially what happens is SSL stripping. It can decrypt all that traffic with a certificate, you can modify it and then send it back out. In an instance like this, it's not necessarily insecure. This is more for development 
reverse engineering uh, situations like this. Now, yes, it can be done maliciously, but this also does mean that you'd have to not only have the certificate installed, but you'd have to have your system trust it, which also requires administrative privileges because that is a very core part of a lot of operating systems. You have a certificate trust chain, the CA chain, and if that's modified, you need administrative privileges to do so. But if you have you know, a, a bad certificate, for example, in that chain, well, then anyone that has access to that certificate into can now decrypt or trap it. Um, now, this is the CA certificate itself. And there are some other certificates that it, 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 it's a lot convoluted, basically. You only have trusted certificates within your system itself. By doing what you're doing here with HTTP Toolkit, does not actually modify other parts of the browser. So for example, here, if we just close out of Firefox, we launch a brand new instance. And then once again, example.com, it's not going to re-intercept it because we're actually using it outside of HTTP toolkits interception range. We're not doing the proxy as well as we don't have the certificate installed anymore into our new instance of Firefox. Now, while this is good and all, you may want to get started as well, uh, whether it's reverse engineering or modifying applications on Android. Let's get into that real quick. Now here on our device, we currently have HTTP toolkit installed to the phone. We're gonna go ahead, hook it up into our system that's currently running Windows. Do that real quick. Debugging is connected, and I believe we've already trusted over ADB. So if we go intercept here, and we may need to reload. Oh, nope, there it is. So Android device via ADB. If we click on this, we watch the device. HTTP toolkit automatically starts connecting. We hit OK to that traffic. And the system trust has been enabled. So not only have we been able to intercept the traffic now on Android, for example, if we go into our browser here and we just do example, oh, we've probably already seen the traffic, example.com. There it is. The response has been paused once again. And we'll go down, 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 down. I don't know what issues are currently going on. We'll just resume it, whatever. So as you can see, the, the website here is acting a little weird um, because we deleted some of that information that was originally being passed to the browser. Um, whatever issues we're having with me typing on remote desktop, I'm not sure. Um, but the point still stands. We're intercepting secured traffic to this domain, and we can modify it and see it, what is exactly going on. Additionally, with that, you probably just saw that above. If we scroll up, we have, looks like Twitter has certificate pinning, which is additional security prevent measures just like this. So to test that application out, if we go to Twitter real quick, we try and refresh. Yeah, it's going to have problems. So that is one downside, which uh, obviously can be managed. You can get past it uh, using tools like Frida. But essentially, HTTP Toolkit, nevertheless, is an amazing tool to see what exactly is going on on whatever device, application, or browser you may be using. If you need to reverse engineer anything, if you're trying to diagnose issues and problems with your apps, or if you're just wanting to know what is exactly going on under the hood, of a lot of the applications and websites you use every day. This is an amazing tool to see what exactly is going on within that traffic. So if you do have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. I'll leave all the links down below if you want to get HTTP Toolkit for yourself. And I highly recommend Pro Edition, especially if you plan on using this quite a bit. But as I just said, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments below. Have yourself a wonderful day.